What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. I'm going to be bringing you some video game news. We got some great topics today. We have Larry and Mod Pack coming out, some Elden Ring news, and we've got some Nintendo Direct Showcase. So let's jump right into it. Start off, we've got Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and Call of Duty Warzone are having some horrible server problems. Okay, what's going on? Everybody's getting kicked offline, they're having issues even booting into the lobbies, and if you are getting in and you get kicked out, there is a chance that's affecting, I thought it said about 5% of the player base right now, okay. where your entire account gets reset back to level 1. Jesus. All your gun progress is gone, and you lose all progress on the battle pass and everything. Wow. Yeah, I haven't played COD in a minute, but that sounds pretty devastating. That's a big bug. I was going to say they were just having server issues like Helldivers is, where like they need to up server quality or something, but yeah. that's that's pretty brutal if I'm logging back in and losing all of my yeah, content. Well, yeah. Imagine paying for two seasons on battle Ooh. passes, getting everything, season three comes out, your account gets reset, you lose everything. That's rough, yeah. yeah. I don't like that. I'd be pretty pissed. So watch out if you're playing COD. We're don't, suing. <laughs> <laughs> don't log in if you don't want to lose your shit till they fix it, so it's out there, just... Be careful. Elden Ring, on a lighter side, was one of the best games of 2022. A game of the year, I believe. It, it was amazing. I couldn't remember if it was game of the year, so I just wrote one of the best games. I, was 2022 when Breath of the Wild came out? Mm, was no. it in the same year as that? Maybe it was, yeah. Well, it might have I been one of the other. I can't remember, yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> anyways, it was hard. It had some creepy monsters in it, challenging bosses. It was amazing. It was a thrill ride going through the entire game. But your ride's not over, because on June 21st, it's getting its first DLC. Nice. It's going to be called The Shadow of the Erd Tree. I've I've heard this so far. It looks exciting. I'm not sure if I'm going to get back into Elden Ring, but it's definitely tempting. Yeah, it should be cool. Um, I was reading about it, and they're going to be kind of taking the same note as a lot of like the DLCs for the Dark Souls games. They're going to be adding in new enemies, new bosses, plot lines to further increase the player's RPG freedom was an okay. exact quote. So I thought that was interesting. Hmm. They're also going to add in new weapons, equipment, weapons, and new magic. All right, all right. So, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, should be pretty cool, and hopefully it's not the last DLC. They should do two or three if they'd stick with standard Souls games. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got Larian Studios, director... Of publishing, Michael Dow said on Twitter, or X for the new kids, I guess. Um, I'm still going to call it Twitter. It's Screw Twitter. that. Uh, he has said on February 22nd that a robust modding system is coming to Baldur's Gate 3. So right now, Baldur's Gate 3 has quite a bit of mods that you can add to it. But that's all through um, Vortex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's changing modding. the game files, actually. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the modding system they usually use for Skyrim, even though Skyrim has its own mod system in it, but it's not quite as good. Uh, this is going to add a whole new part to Baldur's Gate 3 that I think they're going to come out with their own mods and make it so that the community can easily modify their game where Vortex may be more challenging to mod it and get everything to work properly together. Which would be pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, just having everything 100%, no lag on the mods. Yeah. The... I think it's already game of the year, outselling everything. This is just going to bring new people back to the game and make it essentially Skyrim again, where the past six, seven years we've just been playing Skyrim on mods over yeah. and over I again. I mean, you can yeah. just probably eventually start in a random location, new races. I imagine oh, yeah. they'll add in a whole bunch of stuff. You can ba I mean, with the mods they have for Skyrim, you can basically make a whole new game out of it. So I'm sure they're going to do that for Baldur's Gate. It'll right? be sweet. I can't so. wait to see what they do with it. Yeah. Uh, Riot Games League of Legends fighting game sets an official mm -hmm. name. Ooh. So earlier, I think last year, we had the name for their fighting game was uh, Project L, which is linked to League of Legends. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the game is a 1v1 Tekken-type game where it's a tag team, two okay. people. You, one guy dies, the next one comes out kind of thing. But it's all League of Legends Riot characters. I like that. Their new name for is... it oh, go ahead. is... 2XKO. Makes sense, right? 
No, no, I can't no, make no, sense no, of it. No, I can't think Project of why. Project L was a way better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, doesn't make any sense at all. So I guess we'll see how that comes out. But I have a feeling they're going to change it again because that's ridiculous. That one's a rough one. Project yeah, you guys L played two X K O this week. Because what the hell is that? No, Project I L. Which is like, <laughs> hmm. what uh, what other games does Riot have? I know they do Wii. All right, but there's quite a few games. I'm done a lot. I'm so blank. It's like one of those things you ask me a question, I just blanked on me. <laughs> I know the games and I can't think of it. I'm just going to go League of Legends, Team Fight Tactics. Okay, Team Fight. That's all I'm going to think about right now. That's okay. all I can think yeah, about right now. I can't think of a couple of them. Um, do they do Battle Chasers? Am I wrong in that? Or is that Nexon? That might be Nexon. I've never heard of Battle Chasers. No. Forget what I said. All right. That's all I can think <laughs> right now. Uh, last but not least... Everything from Nintendo Direct Showcase. So Nintendo Direct just had their showcase. It was a big update with Xbox partnering with Nintendo, where a lot of Xbox games are coming to the Nintendo Switch. Pretty big news. But just the main topics here, there was a lot of stuff in here, so I just kind of tried to narrow it down to the main stuff. We got Grounded coming to the Switch. That's a big one from Xbox. Ooh, released like fun. I yes. never got to play it. It was released day one on Xbox Game Pass, and now we have it on Switch. This is basically your shrunken down. Honey, I shrunk the kids. That's what yep. it is. You're yep. in your backyard shrunken down, and you have to fight against bees, ants, bugs, uh, and then you go around farming for different materials, it items to like craft up and escape back to your normal life kind of thing. Uh, very fun game, but now we get it on Switch. Uh, that's coming this year. We have Ender Magnolia, Bloom in the Mist, coming sometime in 2024. This is, oh, it almost looked like Salt, kind of. I don't know if you played that one. No. No, it's kind of like 2D-ish, but still 3D. Okay. Uh, the setting I got was, I think you're a girl who every time you befriend or, and defeat a homunculus, you gain its power, and then you just kind of go through the game building up new powers. Okay. Looked interesting, but it's coming to the Switch, so if you want to look that up, 2024 could be entertaining. Check it out. Epic Mickey's coming back with a remake Ooh. titled Epic Mickey Rebrushed. I've never played Epic Mickey before. Is that a good game? Uh, it was fun. I played it as a kid. I don't think I... Uh, it, I think it's been like a good seven to ten years that this thing has come out. With the original Epic Mickey. I think it's been longer than that. Has it? Yeah. Okay. I just know it's uh, it's a Nintendo game that everybody loves, and that's about it. Yeah. I'm not huge on Nintendo, time. so I don't know. I felt like I played it in middle school, unless I'm thinking of a different game. Okay. But. Um, yeah, but look out for that one. That's coming this year as well. Uh, Shin Megami Tensai Five Vengeance coming to Switch June 21st, 2024. Never heard of that one. Shin Megami Tensai is just a great JRPG that has quite a lot of titles okay. not just five it's got so many just in between titles it's kind of like kingdom hearts oh, where they nice. do like 2.5 chain of memory yeah yep. like that kind of stuff uh but it's a huge following on that it's a great jrpg turn-based style game i would definitely pick that one up because i love jrpgs uh after shimigami tensai we got south park snow day coming to switch march 26th is that like a dlc for no something? this is south park's new co-op game coming out i get a brief reading on it real quick it looks like it has a matchmaking setting on it and everything so okay. you're going to be out there fighting as south park characters or something so kind of like stick of destiny or stick of truth stick of truth fracture and Butthole. fracture by horse yeah okay uh is this stick of truth stick of destiny stick, stick of truth yeah something like that we're going off on something yeah uh yeah it, it looks like you're going to have a matchmaking style game it looked entertaining to me. Yeah. I don't know what it's about. I'm going to look up more after that this. That should be but fun. Those were a, a good games. I, I mean, love that. You can South play with games. other people. Yeah. yeah they really bring the humor to it. And they did a good job at Nintendo Direct Showcase of showing it off without making it vulgar or anything, which is hard okay. to do for a South Park Absolutely. Game. Yeah. Uh, we got ooh, Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream coming this year with solo play and up to 20 player multiplayer. Ooh, yeah. I do love a big multiplayer. New Sword Art Online game should be fun. Um, usually when they do the anime game adaptions like Sword Art Online, they're not the greatest. They're not the greatest, yeah. but you have high hopes every time one comes Every out. time, yeah, but it never turns out to be great. They usually end up putting too much into the skills and skill tree kind of thing, but yeah. it just doesn't add up. Overly complicated. Yeah. 
Uh, Gundam Breaker 4 coming this year sometime. We don't know when, but it is number four in the series. It looks like you're going to get to fully customize your own Gundams and go out there battle. I love Gundams. Why not get it? I know you're not, like, the biggest mech fan. But I Yeah, but that dude, sounds like your dream right there. That's a blast. <laughs> <laughs> and closing the show was Endless Ocean Luminous coming May 2nd. This supports up to 30 players who can explore the ocean and document marine life. Okay. It looks very casual, but pretty cool, too. Yeah, I like exploration games. Yeah. They could be fun. If you have some thalassophobia or just fear of unknown ocean, just maybe not that one for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're putting in, like, krakens and stuff, yeah. but you never know. Jump scares with sharks underwater. Yeah, but that's all I got. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thanks for watching our video game news segment. If we didn't mention already, we have merch that came out. It is sweatshirts with us on the back of them animated and our New School Gaming logo on the front of them. They're super warm and awesome, and you should pick them up at newschoolproject.us. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get those fast. But we'll see you guys next week with another video game news segment.